Hello, Gary Cook speaking once again, <coughs> and welcome to you all. Another little message following up on my announcement a fortnight ago about setting up the forest camp and the forest at home here. Well, things are coming together quite well. And this is going to be a camp in which we're going to be doing a lot of experimenting. We're also going to have um, people coming to join us who uh, have a lot to offer. We'll be sitting around the campfire at night and, and chatting and perhaps doing a little singing as well. So virtually what the forest camp is designed to do, we're setting up a natural outdoor recording studio so that we can <coughs> experiment with the native plants of New Zealand, Aotearoa with the music of the plants and this is you can probably hear uh, Peace Lily singing in the background um, my dear Sabella the Peace Lily accompanies me so often now when um, I'm working at home or just chatting away or even travelling around and so we're going to be listening to the trees of this land and also trees growing here which have been introduced from other lands so we're going to have a busy spring and summer season and not only that but I will also be inviting musicians to come and we'll look at how human musicians can join with the plant musicians because in essence that's what we are doing with the music of the plants we are providing the plants with an instrument just as we will play the flute will play the violin or the keyboard or the guitar. We are now giving them an instrument that they can play. And so far our research has shown, as have uh, other researchers in other parts of the world shown, that plants respond to human acknowledgement. Plants respond to human musicians. And so very very soon we're going to start hearing incredible harmonies between plants and humans. The plants will even harmonise with human voice, not only the human instrument, but looking at the voice uh, as an instrument. And also, too, I'm very, very interested in the fact that we, you may or may not know, but all plants <coughs> in the plant kingdom have elemental beings which are assigned virtually to every plant, just as humans have an elemental being assigned to them, much like a guardian angel. We have a guardian fairy which I find <clears throat> so wonderful to, to even contemplate. So consequently, <clears throat> in the forest, in the evenings, um, we'll be looking at ways that we can communicate somehow or another with these other realms. We'll be looking for signs and indications. We'll be listening for song and voice and laughter, which is sometimes here in the forests of New Zealand. So all in all, we're in for quite an exciting few months. Now, everything that I'm going to be setting up, of course, um, is weather dependent. So I'm looking at starting, you know, the first week or two in, in August. And I'll be filming everything that I do. And I'll be posting little short films once a week of how we are progressing with our research. So <clears throat> that's it from here, from uh, Riverhaven in Ongatete in the North Island of New Zealand. And I just hope that um, <clears throat> many of you will be able to join with me uh, in the near future. But other than that, I will keep posting things every week to keep you updated and keep you intrigued and hopefully interested. So we do all this with love. This is the prerequisite of everything we do. Approaching the plants. Listen to Peace Lily at the moment now. She's gone into a very, very, very quiet stage. Now, I acknowledge her, away she comes again. Okay. And so, <clears throat> we'll be acknowledging the plants. We'll be, li we'll be listening to them. We'll be loving the plants. And when we get into the elemental and fairy realms, which is a big push for some of you, I know. But just bear with me, and we'll see what we come up with. So we'll have stories to tell. We'll have people to talk with. 
we'll have fireside chats, and we'll have lots of fun. So, watch the space, I love to say, and until we chat again, tēnā rākoi, tēnā lāk, love to you all. <laughs>